Your AutoCAD electrical status bar is located at the bottom of the screen in AutoCAD electrical. It's right down here. So you can see these icons here if I hover over them. So you have things like display drawing grid. And if I click here, I can go into my grid snap, polar snap, or snap settings. So if I click on snap settings, that'll open up the snap settings dialog box for me. And I can go in and change the drafting settings in all of these different tabs here. For example, I'll just cancel that because I don't want to change any of those settings right now. The status bar is where you control all of your drafting tools while you're working. And one of the neat things about AutoCAD and AutoCAD Electrical is that you can go into any of those tools at any time. You can do that mid-command if you want to. It's not a problem at all. So you can do that very, very easily. Now, the status bar itself has changed quite dramatically in the 2015 version of AutoCAD and also AutoCAD Electrical. You'll notice now that all of these buttons down here are now icons. There is no option now to use the buttons with the words on anymore. They've changed it so that everything is highlighted in different colors, so you can see what's on and what isn't on. So everything blue currently is on. Everything that's gray is off. At the moment, you can see that ortho is off. If I click on it, it goes blue and goes on. If I click on polar there, ortho goes off, polar goes on, because you can't have one on at the same time as the other. So you can see how that works. And it's very, very neat. And it works very, very well. And you've got little flyouts now to change the settings. For example, there's your object snaps. You click on the flyout, there's your object snaps. So I'll switch endpoint on, I get a tick next to it, click away from it, and I'm back in the drawing area, ready to work with my endpoint snap on. Notice the snap icon has gone that blue. So if I click there and switch endpoint off, that means that I haven't got any snaps switched on. So again, it goes into that white gray kind of setting there as well. Now there's a lot of settings to remember on your status bar. All of these here are your drafting settings. You've then got annotation scales here. So there's your annotation scales there for your drawing. And if I just click away from that now and come back here, I've got workspace switching. I mentioned AutoCAD Classic and AutoCAD Electrical Classic in previous videos. That would be how you change your workspace to go back to the old pull-down menus and the toolbars if you wanted to for AutoCAD Electrical. I'm not going to do that, so again, I'm just going to click away from that like so. Here, I've got some more settings. I've got Annotation Monitor. I've also got Quick Properties. And just here, I've got Hardware Acceleration On, which means I'm using my graphics card in my laptop. Here we've got a nice tick for the project database surface. So what that means is our project database for AutoCAD Electrical is working well and there's no errors. That's what the tick means. I've also got here that it's a trusted DWG. So it's a trusted DWG that's been created within AutoCAD itself. And I've also got isolate objects. I've got the opportunity to do a clean screen, which means I lose all the extraneous icons around the edges. I don't like to use that, so I always leave that off. And I've also got the option to customize all of the settings as well. So if I click on customize there, can you see that I get this big menu flying off the edge of the screen there where I can set all of the tools down here on my status bar. Now, I don't ever change those default settings. I leave them as they are. Now, there's one more neat little trick available to you on the status bar. You can see this model button here. Now, I can toggle between what is known as model space or paper space. So that's sometimes known as the Model tab or the Layout tab as well. So if I click on Model, that'll toggle me now into the Layout tab, which is known as Paper or Paper Space. And you can see I've got a viewport there, and my drawing is zoomed to extents in that viewport. So what's happened there is I'm now in my Layout tab. How do I get back to the Model space? Well, I can do that very easily. I can just click on the button here, and you can see, look, that toggles. There's Paper, and there's Model, like so but it leaves that current view as the view that you last used. So even though that says model, I'm not actually in the model space itself. What I can do is hover over the tab, go back to the model tab in the drawing here, and that takes me back. So you can see there's some tools there on the status bar. They're all about assisting you in working in AutoCAD Electrical. So make sure that you familiarize yourself with your status bar in AutoCAD so that you can work effectively and productively when creating your electrical drawings.